To customize my action pad, I'm going to right mouse button in a design space, select display, and then action pad. From here, my action pad appears. I'll go ahead and drag this out and show you all the tools that were added already. I'm going to go ahead and customize my action pad. By selecting my user at the top, I'll go to preferences, I'll select the arrow, and then customize. The customize box pops open and allows me to select different tabs on the top to customize. I'm going to go to action pad. From here, I notice there's a variety of functions that were already added to my action pad. These are all in order with the action pad to the right. There's also additional commands here that allow me to add commands, add separators, and also remove commands. I'm going to go ahead and add some commands. By going through the customization method that I'm showing you, I'm able to add additional commands from other workbenches. In this particular case, I'm going to look for the Edge Fillet tool, one that's typically in GSD and or part design. I'll just type Edge Fillet here in the Easy Search option, hit the search button, and then I recognize the tool I want from the icon. I just select it and hit OK. Notice in my customize box, it appears at the bottom. I can go ahead and organize this somewhere else, but for now, I'll just leave it here. I'll also check it to verify that it popped up in my action pad. There it is. I'll close out the tool, and that completes it.